Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Diva Daddy, and this is a safe space for Diva Stands and nobody else. I know I said my My Rise video was a video that y'all all been waiting for. That was kind of extra of me to say because I know y'all want tutorials and you want in on my excellence. But um, yes, it's finally a video that I feel like a lot of people have been waiting for, and that's how the fuck I actually make a car, literally from scratch. My process, what apps I use, how I make my logos, how I cut out my logos, all that shit. Okay? Okay. Before we get into this video, if you want to keep up with me elsewhere, make sure to follow me on Twitter at Diva Daddy. That's where I live tweet wrestling shows. That's where I post my creation content. That's where I announce my streams. That's where I talk my shit. So make sure to follow me on there. So today, I decided I'm going to make a very camp, very interesting character that I've been seeing on NXT television, and that is Miss Wendy Chu. The first thing I'm going to do is Google. I'm going to use my phone. Google is free. Everyone knows what Google is, so use Google. So I'm just going to... Okay, so let me start screen recording. Duh. So I don't... Let me see Wendy Chu. Oh, not... Oh... Oh, I've typed in the wrong chew. Mm -hmm. Wendy Chu with two O's. Okay. I'm going to look for a face photo and see what we can find. Now, a lot of these photos, the character Wendy Chu, she likes to smile a lot, I see. Photos where the wrestler or whatever, whoever you're making a smiling, is not really ideal for a face photo. You want a blank mm -hmm. expression. And I'm not finding one. So mm -hmm. I'm going to Google Karen mm -hmm. Q. I think this one's perfect. This is her Mae Young classic photo. That's when she made her debut. I think this photo is excellent. So what I'm gonna do now is save it. It's kind of HD, but like it could be HDR. This step right here is crucial to my cock creating process, my face texture creating process more specifically. Now this app is gonna be your best friend. You wanna call this app every day. You wanna check up on this app. This app is gonna be there for you through thick and thin when cock creating, okay? And the app is Remini. You might know it already, you might not. You might be using it for other reasons, but for cock reading, Remini is like the best tool you can use and is literally the tool on how my shit comes out the way it does. So download Remini. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Now I I used to have a Remini Plus, but you don't need it. I'm just gonna use it for this. It's running out in two days anyway. Mm. This is gonna give you three options to choose from. You're gonna have your base, V2, V3, and this is only if you have Remini Plus. If you use regular Remini, which majority of people do, you're just gonna get one option. That option's almost always perfectly fine. It always comes out good. Sometimes. Most of the time. Yeah. Mm. I'm just gonna go with the first version it gave me. Why not? The base. So now that that's saved, I'm gonna airdrop that over to my computer. Now, let's scoot on over to my computer. Let's start this magic. What we're going to want to do is open up Finder. Now, I'm going to link this template below. Now, I feel so bad because I'm not sure who made this template. So, unfortunately, I can't give credit to it. But I'm just going to link it in below. If you made this template, just comment below that you made it. And I'll believe you. And I have nothing to lose here. This is the template that I use for all of my cause. Just letting you know. So, I'm just going to drag it into Photoshop like that. Drag my Wendy Chu into Photoshop, looking fabulous as she is. All right, zoom into her gorgeous face and get my trusty lasso tool and just outline the perimeter of her face. All right, that's good enough, whatever. Now what I'm gonna wanna do is right click on my layer file. Let me rasterize it first. And now I'm gonna right click on it again and do, actually I'm just gonna, make a different layer. So I'm just gonna right click on my selection and press copy. Now that I have a copy layer of her face, I'm just gonna enlarge it. Hold option on my keyboard as I enlarge so it, you know, expands from the center, keeps all of the margins and constraints and proportions right. I'm just gonna reduce the opacity just so I can see how it's lining up with the template. Now I'm gonna bring the opacity back up to 100. Let me just edit the colors of the face texture because this face texture template whatever you want to call it is fairly red and now you don't want your car coming out too red the thing is i see a lot of mistakes people make with their cars and by all means it's a mistake to me but it could be perfection to you <laughs> some of the skin tone comes out way too saturated it comes out way too red way too yellow you know skin is not that bright and pigmented in real life okay especially in game like the people don't look like that what we're going to want to do is reduce the lightness ever so slightly on the background as well as reduce the saturation, change the warmth of her skin to about there. Now the warmth is like crucial because some people have red undertones, some people have yellow undertones, okay? So make sure to always change that warmth according to how 
your character looks or whoever you're creating looks in real life if that's your goal if that's how you want them to look okay and for her face texture itself it's a little bright so i am going to reduce um the lightness on that as well i'm going to press this little trusty button here called uh, the adjustment effect you know it's i don't actually know what it's called i just press it, and it focuses whatever adjustment you're making on that layer specifically so if i just want to edit her face without editing the whole background I'll be pressing this button too. So I'm just going to reduce the lightness on her face ever so slightly and play with the hue once again. I think that's good. Now, what we're going to do is blend a crucial step into making an even, sickening face texture. Like, look how it's just her face cut out. Like, if you don't size that properly, you're going to see that outline on your car. You don't want that. What you're going to do now is create the clipping mask this little button right here create clipping mask get a brush with black increase that increase the opacity a bit to about maybe 50 ish we'll see how that works just gently go around the edges and you're gonna have to do this about like a billion times just saying i don't know if i announced it but i'm working in adobe photoshop so yeah maybe reduce the size of the brush just a bit so we can really get that blurry edge you know i realized there was a method that i used to do back when I was making cause in, what was it? 2K18, 17 back then, maybe even 2K19. I used to do this method where I used to like feather out the edges, do a quick, easy way to just feather them, but it didn't always give me the best effects. Hold on, let me just see if that works. Let's just select it, right? And do inverse, and I said delete. Let me see how that came out. It could be more feathered. Let's try like 50 pixels okay so that's better so I guess you can do that way too so if you have a harsh selection instead of going over over it with the brush you can just do what I just did so select your selection by pressing command clicking it right clicking select inverse and then go to feather and then select the radius you want I just did 15 and just press delete okay if you want to do that way you can do that way I just like doing this with the brush just because I have more control over what areas get smoothed out. So as you can see, like it's still not that smooth. So I'm still going to have to go over it with the brush and do more, right? Okay, this is a good base. And let me just remove the guide so I can see. Let's zoom out a bit. So now what I do. Okay, I know I keep saying every step is crucial to making like a sickening car to make your shit look like an in-game model. But when I tell you this is what you need to do, you need to get rid of highlights. Look how shiny her nose is. Look how shiny her forehead is. Look how shiny parts of her cheeks are, her philtrum, her chin even. There's just some parts that are just so shiny that when you pour it into the game, it just look a mess. It doesn't look like an in-game model. We're gonna get the eyedropper tool and just sample a part of her skin that's kind of dark, but kind of, kind of in between. I'm gonna get my brush. Now we just go over all the highlights, right, gently. And as you can see, the highlights are already starting to disappear. We can in decrease the opacity for the cheeks because we don't need to get rid of the highlights too much because she is like wearing makeup and blush, right? Just a little bit, especially on the white parts. You need to make sure like the white part specifically is what you're targeting. You don't want a white line on her nose. Please, you do not. Okay, so just go over that a couple times till it's completely gone. Maybe we can add a light color just so like there's some kind of highlight, All right? Just like that. Especially the ball of the nose. The ball of the nose is where most of the highlight is caught. I want to leave her eyes. Actually, you know what? I think I might change it just considering that, I don't know, she doesn't wear this makeup. Like, this is her Karen Q beat, right? Like, she doesn't look like this when she's Wendy Chu. Now, I want to do the perimeter of her face and blend that into the face texture of the background. So, what we're going to do is sample the color of the background and just basically kind of do the same. I'm going to do it on a new layer just because I like doing shit on different layers. Kinda, sometimes. And I'm just gonna go around her face, increase the opacity, and just try my best to blend the face texture in with the template background. Also, do you notice how there's a shadow under her lip? We're gonna get rid of that as well. So, same thing, sample a nearby color. For shadows, you're gonna wanna make sure your opacity is light. So for highlight, and you want to darken highlight, opacity low, shadows, opacity high. Er, not so high, but higher, okay? So I sampled it. Now I'm just going to go under her lip and just 
ever so slightly color underneath that just to get rid of highlight. I mean shadows and I think that's good. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. And the next step select everything in my um, layers panel. Let me just open that so you can see that better and duplicate it. And with the duplicate still selected, right click and merge them all together. So it's just all one big layer now. So if I hide all these, I just have this layer, okay? And what I'm gonna do now, this part is interesting. You might be like, Latrell, what the fuck are you doing right now? But when I tell you, like magic is about to happen. So filter, blur, Gaussian blur. I have it at about 50%, 4.4 pixels, I think. Let me just shut that five. I think this is good. Okay, so now that your layer is blurry, has the Gaussian blur, I'm gonna take another layer, right? And now this is the part where you wanna get rid of things. Actually, I don't even wanna leak it now what I'm gonna do, but just, just follow me here. I'm gonna sample, let's say, this color right here. And I'm gonna get rid of her makeup, okay? So let me get rid of that. Put a little brown action. Selena Gomez got a little blue going on. Let's just change her lip color as well. Let's turn, let's make the layer style of my new layer. I should be naming my shit. Don't be like me, please name your stuff. Change it to lighter color. And just go over her lips. Now we can make it a little bit darker. So I'm just gonna do that via adjustment layer and just clip mask that. Make sure to press that button to target whatever single thing you're targeting, this button right here, and just take that down just a bit. And I think that's good. So now you're stuck with this blurry photo and you're like, Latrell, like, how does this look good? Like, this is gonna look like shit in Creation Suite. Now this is where I work my motherfucking magic, okay? So you're gonna wanna save it. Wendy Chu test. Now, with that Wendy Chu test file, you're gonna wanna bring that shit to your phone. Wendy Chu test, drag it to me. Now I'm just gonna crop it so the next step that I do is gonna work just to the best of its ability. So I'm just gonna crop her face, the blurry face texture that we just made, right? Now we're gonna go back to Remini, select the photo, and we're gonna enhance. Now watch this. Boom! Look at that. And you have all the different versions, but I think I'm just gonna go with the version one for this one. Now bring this new version back into Photoshop, and boom, look at that. Look at that, y'all. Look at that face texture. Are you crazy? And rasterize it. We're gonna, all the work that we just did, we're just gonna put that in a folder. We're just gonna hide it, because like, we don't need it anymore unless you want to go back and fix something, you don't like how a texture turned out. But other than that, I think we are pretty much good. But do you see how the magic happened? Do you see what happened there? How just using Remini just got rid of all imperfections and how it takes a blurry photo. And basically what I really did was take advantage of the technology that Remini has with turning a blurry photo into a high definition photo. So even though I got rid of a lot of like fine details that are on her face in real life, like come on y'all, like the face textures are not like, especially with in-game models, like, they're not that detailed and precise. Like, look at the in-game models, please. Okay? So, doing this, making your texture, making it blurry, sending it back through Remini so Remini could spit out a clear version. Like, that's basically my secret. So, that's Miss Wendy Chu. So, I see that there's a harsh black border around her. I'm just going to get rid of that. Select inverse. Select modify. Expand. Expand that by four and just delete that border. And then just select inverse, do the exact same step, modify, expand. Let's do like nine pixels, why not? And right click on your texture, press fill, content aware. Time goes by so slowly. All right, there you go. Here's your texture, basically. I'm just gonna edit the brightness and stuff a little bit just because I feel like it's a little too white. And like increase the contrast just ever so slightly. Eyebrows could be a little darker too, but I think I'm gonna put in-game eyebrows on her anyway, so it should look fine. 
in the end. Oh, my foot fell asleep. Ow, ow. Just adding my watermarks to it so y'all know this face texture is by Diva Daddy himself. Now, if you want it to be more extra, because I know some people like completely like get rid of the eyelashes of their face textures. You can do the same thing that I did removing the makeup, but just go more into their eyelash because Remedy literally gives you its own eyelashes that, I don't, like I said, I don't know how the fuck that app works, but it will give you what it thinks is there. So if you want to reduce the eyelashes, just put more skin tone brush, whatever, over the eyelashes and that should solve that for you. But I'm good with whatever she has right now. So let's just save this. So now that we're done with the face texture, time to move on to gear. Now I know Miss Sis she wears okay like look at her gear for example here like look at this like she's so camp i love her now if you're saving renders or any image from the internet and it comes out a web p and you can select that to photoshop save it still and then just download it and then find some kind of web p to png converter and just download it that way upload okay so this is what she's wearing she's wearing some kind of taco pajamas cute i actually i'll just make her render right now why not so I have a render template. I have my own render template. I'll link that in the description below. But for now, let me just do that while I'm here, while I have this image. Save, save as a PNG. Sis's gear looks so easy to make. Um, I'm pretty sure she gets them on Amazon, but I think I saw this gear on Walmart, if I'm not mistaken. So, uh, yep, I'm pretty sure this is it right here. Whoever you're making, try your best. If there's actual real life references, reference images that you can just like screenshot from online, by all means do it. I will, I'll make another tutorial in the future on how to like actually make gear, like making patterns, shadows, shine like that. That is work. And that is, I'm going to be honest here, that is not something that's my strong suit. So the best gear references you can find online where you can just screen cap or cut out and edit, that's your best bet. Try to aim for that if you can't make your own shit. Like, just looking at this, like, this is perfect. Like, I couldn't ask for a better reference photo, right? Cut this out. I'm just going to use my lasso tool. So I'm just going to cut that. All right. And then let me take the front. Cut that out as well. Perfect. And we're just going to make a new layer. Now, this is the default layer that 2K's images are. So, I mean, the default size. So we're just going to make it... Actually, you know, we'll do 1,000 by 1,000 just so it comes out a little bit more clear. Resolution doesn't need to be that big. Just make it like 150 or something. Now let's duplicate both pieces we just made with Miss Wendy Chu's gear. So center the gear in the middle of the image, the back. And then what you're going to want to do is right click. Okay. Select inverse. Then modify, expand, and we're just gonna expand it by, let's say like, let me see four pixels, perfect. Four pixels is what you would need. And then right click again, fill, then go to content, content aware, and okay. And let's see how this turns out. This is fine. All right, so this is Miss Wendy Chu's taco pattern for the back. And we're just gonna, do the same process for the front. Now the front's a little different because I can see that there's a zipper going down, right? I think I just might that add that in separately myself, make my own zipper. So we're just gonna get my little trusty lasso tool, get as close to it as possible so you don't mess up the outside of it. This is the easiest way to get rid of any kind of little things you don't want in any photo, okay? So highlight it, fill, content to wear literally the same method as how you get the entire background and i'm pretty sure that's decent that's fine because i'm putting the zipper down there anyways press command click your layer so now everything's selected right click select inverse select again up here modify expand you want to expand it just four is fine just so it gets that border so you don't really have a harsh border around whatever you're editing fill Right click fill, content aware, okay. All right, and that's the front of Miss Wendy Chu's gear. Now I would do the zipper in Photoshop, but like I'm kind of crafty and I like to use in-game logos for some things. Just cause like, you don't have to use custom logos for everything and use up all that logo space. Even though this is only gonna have like three custom logos, it's fine, okay, it's fine. Let's upload her gears first. Go to Wendy Chu, Wendy front, that's the first one. Now Wendy back. Perfect. Then let's do custom portrait. 
Ooh, I don't see where it went. Okay, I don't know where I saved that, but okay, upload her render next. All right. And now her face photo on point. And I think we're ready to boot up WWE 2K22 and get started on making Miss Wendy Chu. Oh yes, a little angle change has happened because we are now in game mode. You know, this is tutorial mode. This is game mode. I don't have another camera there set up simultaneously. So I don't know why I just turned for that. Mm. Expecting like another angle to be shown. Anyways, let's get to it. Game time. Create a superstar, as always. Come on, we know this. We know, actually, no. Oh my goodness, such a hot. You don't go right into create a superstar right away. We gotta mm -hmm. download our logos. Community creations, image manager. You know, the drill. Come on. Ooh, look at all our beautiful logos. Okay, so first, let's download the face texture. Download her render. Beautiful render. Can I even tell which one is the front and which one's the back? I don't think so, girl, to be honest. Oof. Okay, what is Miss Wendy Chu? Is she a striker? Is she a technician? Is she a high flyer? Is she a powerhouse? I want to make her a technician. What is she? I'm going to make her a striker. She's good with them kicks. No persona, even though she has one of the most iconic personas right now in WWE. We're not going to give her one in the game because we're not basic and we have logos to use. Okay, so let's just fill out her personal information. Let me just verify what her Twitter is. Is her name the realist Wendy? Or is this a stan account? Oh no, that's actually her. <laughs> and then the name, child, I'm pretty sure Wendy's not in here. Let's be real. Mm. Wayne. We do Wayne. Wayne D. Chew. Mm. Yeah, we can do that. Okay, let's see what they have for Chew. I'm so frightened. Oh, they have Cho. Even though that's not her name, that's at least similar. Mm. Wayne D. Cho. That's Sis's name. Okay, face, template. Okay, so this is a crucial step. Like I said, everything's a crucial step, but that's just to the level. If you want to get like me, if you want to get like Diva Daddy and put out bomb ass creations once every six months, mm. you will follow these steps. Okay. So now Miss Wendy Chu, we know she's an East Asian queen, so we're obviously going to go for an East Asian facial texture, facial template, whatever you want to call it. So I think this one might be our best bet, to be honest. The fourth one from the top. <gasps> Ooh, I think it came out perfect. Like, the game is still broken to me when it comes to the alignment, because as you can see, the eyebrow on the face texture versus the eyebrow on the model, like, it's just not lining up. So you're just going to have to use your eyes to the best of your ability and try to map it now this might get a little tricky here when i actually try to put in the in-game eyebrows because those just never match up to the eyebrows of the face texture so good luck charlie mm -hmm. the glowing white i'm so sick of that they need to get rid of that that is just the most unhelpful thing ever sure it tells you what part of the face you're working on but i can't see anything okay i think the eye's fine we can always go back and edit it after nose time now just edit her face a bit her jaw is a little bit different just do her skin we'll just put that as a base and edit it after her the cheeks and the cheekbones are like the biggest thing you, you need to go back and edit after you're done you know your facial morphing let's get rid of all that hair and makeup that she's wearing this is the part where i was like girl i don't know how it's gonna turn out let's see the in game eyebrows how they match up oh not them coming a little bit perfect they could be a little bit more higher and this is my go-to for when the lips have some shine to them they're a little bit peachy. Let me just reduce the opacity so some of the original texture comes through still. Let's go now and edit her body. Now, I know Sis is short. She's five foot two. Now, let's see what outfits we have in store. Okay, my camera decided to run out of storage. I'm just going to continue the rest of the video without the audio, okay? I mean, without the video. Now let's see what we come up with. Bingo! And we can always change our mind after. It doesn't look cute if it doesn't blend with the bottoms. We can always go and just find like a jumpsuit or whatever. But because this is a hoodie with a hood, I am going the fuck with it. Regularly just stretch that shit. I think that's pretty good for the back. See, like, look at the sleeves. Like, look how it's a little bit small because the whole entire image wrapped around but you know what we're gonna leave it it's fine now i'm just gonna add the zipper logo like that bomb.com so now we're making the zipper okay so just do that and just make it a little bit thinner about there i think that's perfect maybe a little bit skinnier there that's good and then make this fabric because like zippers have kind of a little bit of texture. Let's just make it glitter. 
There. You get me? You get what I'm doing now? You get it, guys? I hope you get it. There you go. Okay, so I don't hate it. But it's just, you know, if we had a onesie, it just would be all the better. Now, do they have cute slippers in here? We can give her Uggs, maybe. Okay, yeah, she's just keeping those Uggs. Let me just figure out her hair situation now. Now her hair, now there's different options. Let me see the buns that they have. If they have a cute mask, these buns will eat. So these are the buns that are obviously gonna give her. Make it black. And now let's go look at the masks. Oh, we won. Oh, there's a blank one too. Oh, we are creating. Let me emboss it. So it looks three dimensional. Let me see colorless. Oh, that's exactly what I was going for. Oh, my mind, it amazes me sometimes. Let's give her the bodysuit now and see what happens. I'm gonna BBL chew. This is just so funny to look at her in this gear. It's just so effing funny. I love Wendy chill. Take a shot how many times I say I love Wendy. I think this version's better. <laughs> Don't at me. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna keep this version rather than the hoodie and the best separate pants. That's because it's more cohesive. Okay, yeah, let's do the nails. Oh, I'm gonna give her these ones. Cute. Now, I was actually thinking of giving her that long those long ass braids that they, for some reason, removed in last year's game and then brought back in this one, whatever. These ones, let me see how this looks. Oh, come on, this is camp. I live for this. Let me just see how these look. Maybe I might even give these her. The other ones are so much more camp. I like the other ones better. I'm happy with this. And I'm just gonna overwrite my past work, I'm sorry. <laughs> All that work for no reason. That's okay, y'all. Claw making is all trial and error when I tell you. Now let's make the second outfit her buns. Let's give her her render. Cute. Let's make her disciplined, prideful, cowardly, perseverant. I think she's good to go, y'all. That's about it for the creation process. I'm not going to get really much into movesets because that's not my strong suit. I'll probably spend upwards of either two minutes or five hours figuring out what the fuck this girl does. That's pretty much how I make a car. Finding the photo to the face texture. Remember, you need Remini. Remini is your friend when making face textures. And when it comes to attires, the best bet is to find those reference picks, whether that's from walmart or amazon where wendy finds your gears or you know, gear makers themselves like a lot of the gear makers upload take pictures of the wrestlers gear before they send them off and upload to their instagram so if you can find that that's your best bet and yeah just got to spend a lot of time morphing and screwing around with everything until it looks right in your eyes that's what car making is right it's all your perspective on how facial features look clothing looks materials textures everything looks it's all in your perspective Thank you so much for watching. Once again, if you want to keep up with me elsewhere, you can follow me on Twitter at DivaDaddy. And yeah, adios guys. Stay tuned for the next video.